Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Do you like vintage? Do you like antiques? Do you like the strange and the unusual in people and things? You're at the right place. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and for everybody, leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite find of the day was. I'd appreciate it. You guys, we are here. Burning Bridge Antiques in Columbia, Pennsylvania. We got one hour. We got to get in here and see if we can find anything. Let's do it. Does that count as one if they're priced together? It's a pair. It's a pair. Ooh, now this is cool. I've actually seen this here before. There is a condition issue on it. I don't know the name. 75 is a little steep for me, so I'm going to leave her there. Let's check out the cases. Who doesn't need a giant creepy baby mannequin? I mean, come on now. He is articulated. When, let's see how much he's priced at. 165 I mean, that's pretty amazing. I like the hand-painted face, but I think I'm probably going to leave that one behind. Got a little Art Nouveau, kind of like a German bisque. She's pretty. Mm. Candle holder. Thought perhaps it was a bud face. I was wrong. Got a little damage here. You can see it barely there on the flowers. Just on the very tip. Oh, now something is definitely catching my eye right underneath. Check out that Pierre Gourmand. It is a lollipop. It is a French candy company. Oh, yeah, we're totally going to get that. All right, you guys, I just really quick wanted to splice in this footage. Obviously, I did get the gourmand or the lollipop uh, display. I do want to point out a couple of things. Number one, there are reproductions. Um, they're official. They were officially licensed by Pierre Gourmand. Uh, they are still producing candy in France. Um, however, the eyes are much different on it. And the thing that you really want to look out for is actually on the bottom. The reproductions are going to have two holes, one on the left, one on the right, versus the one. And the reproductions are missing that stamp. So if you are interested, just keep your eye out for those two or three different tells for them. But he's super cute. Okay, back on the hunt. Do you see that art glass mermaid? Ooh, she's cool. Again, not in our price range. Liking the art glass bird. Look at the pewter. I think that's pewter. That Art Nouveau styled vase there. I think that's beautiful. Love the lines on that. Down here, we have an antelope that has definitely seen <laughs> a better day. Check out the little artist bunny, too. He's cute. All right, we've got a whole treasure trove down here. Now, the last time I was shopping with uh, Jason and Tina from Mother Tucker's, Tina was looking at these um, wooden kind of hat stands. This one seems to be like a cloth with some embroidery. The prices, I think it's saying 185. I can't see it for sure. It's cool, but definitely out of our price range. Ooh, some pretty glass here. Little Fenton pink hobnail, opalescent shells. It's uh, seeing some lily of the valley there. I like that pink stretch. That's pretty. 32, not bad for a collector. Mm, those little baby shoes, that's cute. A little bit more of the contemporary. Ooh, now back there you have the, the McCoy. Um, they did these floral vases. Oh my gosh, if you find those, definitely snatch those up. Those, they're like crazy priced on the collector's market. Look at these two. What is, <laughs> don't know what's going on. Let's see if anything back here. There's a lot of wall pockets, some Royal Copley American Bisque. Nothing really special that's like saying you got to take me home. Oh, hey, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, let's move on here, guys. This booth has got a lot of mid-century. I think they were upstairs at one time um, and they've moved down. Oh, look at those orange lucite grapes. Oh, that goes great with that yellow art glass fish there. Oh my goodness. Check out all of this barware. The conditions like immaculate on these. These definitely never saw a dishwasher. They were used, they were used sparingly and definitely washed by hand. Living kind of like the torture lamps here oh little bear how much is oh fifty dollars yep that's the going rate 
Fair Home Buys. There you go on Instagram. Check them out. They got some good stuff in here, you guys. A little bit of Pyrex, even. Why not? I like how it's displayed. Oh, chenille. Let's check it out. What are the prices on it? Okay, $100. We're going to have to leave that one behind. $30. Ew, it says as is. Uh, I'm not even going to bother, truthfully. Got to move on. Time is short. Oh, look at him. I like that. Midsection's gone. Cypress knee lamp. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing too much of anything. I've gotten stuff out of this booth before. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. We got a little Viking. I love this flower frog. I wish that they actually used a green glass instead of that clear glass for the frog itself. Cute little lamp here. Not lamp. Hello. What is that? A little head face. But she does have a hat. So that's really interesting. Looks like she would have had like maybe a single bud or you could have used her as like a little yeah. umbrella. And that's the thing I have to be mm, some kitsch, some glass. That's why These two, those know. dolls back there are interesting. The heads. Got some quartz. Ooh, I like that postcard back there. Do you see it? She's got hair. Interesting. Never seen that before. <sighs> okay. So of course we're going to stop at the Christmas. You guys got to check it out. Truthfully, I'm kind of waiting because there's somebody standing in front of the case that I really want to get into. We're going to pretend that we're like totally checking out this stuff, which is cool and fine. But it's over here to our right. I can't get in there. We got to wait, guys. Oh, she moved. Okay, look. And there's a sale. It's 50% off. Shh. Do you see him? Okay, they're gone. So, do you see that in there? I see three pieces of whole Howard. Look, that single shaker is fifteen dollars. It's only seven fifty. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. I actually own this myself. Sixty dollars is very fair, but we're gonna leave it behind. Mm, got some majolica, but down here, you thought I was gonna go for the pots, didn't you? It's these bulb replacements. These are glass. 26 for all six. That's not that bad. I've never seen, I've seen Santa here, but I've not seen the frosty one in the back. They're in really good condition, don't you think? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to leave those though. Maybe a little closer to Christmas. Some big like napkin rings. Hmm. Yeah, here they had um, art glass, not art glass. I'm looking at the glass, the pottery. Flower frogs. It seems like they've sold through a good bit. Those aren't overly interesting. Some cameras, advertisements there. I like that enamel, but ooh, got some antique ephemera looking down here. What's missing? The country gentleman. Mm. Oh, I mean, that could be cool, but ooh, do you guys see the tin carousel back here? I love these toys. That one's really good condition. That's impressive. There's like no rust or pitting. Well, there's a little bit of pitting, but ooh, $380. We're going to go ahead and leave that one there. <laughs> uh, there's lots of train stuff in here. I think I've filmed in here before. It's not really my thing, but I definitely appreciate the time and effort going into the display. Mm. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of owls. Hmm. Oh my gosh, do you see it? It's $60. They're $19.28. Sex books? Yeah, we're going to get them. Oh, now the vendor's actually going to show me something. Let's jump over to there, guys, quick. I'm going to have to jump over to straight voiceover because, yeah. 1867, these witchcraft books. They're absolutely amazing. Look at the script in them. Marked 1868, you know, they're definitely not priced where I would be able to get them for resale, or maybe they are, I don't know. It really depends on the market, but overall they're in really good condition. She's showing us here the original uh, pages, a little bit of wear there on the spine, but overall really good condition. Volume one, we're going to get out volume two. Alrighty, and here we have volume two. These are excellent to see. Uh, maybe someday in the future, you never know. Well, all right, guys, let's head upstairs to the landing. Oh my goodness, up the second 
flight. Here we go. We're going to make it. Yes. All right. Here we are upstairs. Let's check it out and see what's good. All kinds of goodies up here, guys. Hmm. Oh, I know there's a collective gasp out there. A broken Lucite candle. That's shameful. I hope that, you know, I I don't know. I would hope that maybe the vendor broke it and they forgot to get it. I would hate to think that a customer broke that and at least didn't take that downstairs and own up to it. Got another set here. Those are pretty. They're priced individually. All kinds of really cute stuff is going on in here. Mm. I don't. Oh, look at him. Paper mache pumpkin, $110. Fair, fair, fair. Um, would have rather seen the insert in there, so I'm going to leave him behind. Oh my gosh, now this is new. You guys, Trashy. Trashy it actually works here, and she does, of course, have her new booth set up. You can check her out on Instagram. It is, of course, Trashy. Um, great kitschy kind of mid-century look to it love the bright fun colors of everything definitely want to look at the i love that teal oh my goodness you got the glider there the little hawaiian doll she's look at the coconut too oh yeah twenty dollars kind of like a mexican um souvenir piece there <laughs> at the dentist because why not Got some beautiful Fostoria. Love their opalescence. I think Fostoria is kind of underrated. Got some wicker and rattan down there. Just a really good overall vibe here, guys. Again, I just love the bright, fun colors. I'm gonna check it all out. Look at that pink one. I've never seen one so bright. And of course, we've got some rubber faces here. A little knickerbocker it appears. Oh. Here is the Humpty Dumpty. Now, I've never seen him in the pink colorway. I have him in the plaid. He's super cute. I love the little parasol that's attached to him. His little blonde hair. Let's see how much. 150 yeah. That's pretty much on the norm for these guys. You know, obviously, he's not where I would need him to be, but he's still absolutely adorable. Isn't he cute? All right, you're going to have to go back in here with your friends. Let's take everybody on a ride. Here's our little bear. He's at 75. Like the little sleeping doll one. They made those in like overnight bag or pajama bags. This is what I want to say. There's Megilla. Let's see if we got anything down here. Some 80s, like the Pink Panther. Those snakes were so popular back in the day. Hey, Lamb Chop. <laughs> uh, some of the dream pets are up here too. It's nice to see them with their tags on. It's pretty cool. Let's take them on a ride too. I don't know too much about the dream pets, truthfully. What are they like 60s and 70s, I think? Earlier ones have like the uh, sawdust stuffing, Look at all the colors and the clothing. Got some more kitsch, but a little bit more of the barware. These are super cute. All right, let's see what else we can find. <sighs> Okay, this is Earl Bernard. Earl Bernard was like 60s, 70s. You probably know him from like a super day glowy kind of things. This is a ceramic set. There is a third or technically fourth piece. A little powder jar. It's missing. Oh, she has a neck repair. You know what? One, the um, girl over here with the purse, the black hair, she sold for 125 by herself. So we're going to get these for sure. Oh, look at that. There's more loose. I, I actually prefer the clear the best with the silver or gold. I just think that you can leave these out a little bit more easily year round. So these are pretty to see. Just not where we need it to be. Oh, I love that little water slide there. That's so cute. She's got some damage, but I think it adds to the value. All right, guys, check it out. You can bring your wine here. All right, I'm going to wrap it up outside, guys. I'll see you there. Well, there you have it, guys. Another quick shopping trip at Burning Bridge Antiques here in Columbia, Pennsylvania. It is always a pleasure to get to meet everybody. Don't forget, in the description down below, I have linked Trashy's Instagram page so you can give them a follow. She's a wonderful lady. You won't regret it. 
Thank you, Cindy, for always being so kind and gracious. Cheers. <laughs> I hope that you guys did enjoy. Remember, until next time, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.